everybody. Uh, welcome back to our kitchen. We're very happy to be here and we have a great food, um, a pre uh, uh, you know, uh, how do you say that? Prepared? No, no, planned for you. Planned. Not prepared yet. This is food show number 34. And um, so welcome. And what are we going to do? We're going to call it a noodle oofloof. <laughs> Swiss, no, it's, a, it's actually a ham and cheese noodle casserole Swiss style. It's like something that we fix all the time. Well, home. as kids, you know, we grew up with this dish. Oh, yeah. and, and, you know, just, and I actually know people who eat it so much that they just don't want to eat it anymore. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. I don't know anybody who uh, you know, eat this. Uh, the thing is, I hardly ever make it because it's so delicious. Yes. I can't stop. Yes. So, it's, oh, it's going. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Okay, this is the ingredients list, and we start off with one medium well aged banjo, but well used. No. That's optional. That's optional. Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> but that helps, actually, it helps. <laughs> and so, what we need is we have some uh, uh, Parmesan cheese, grated cheese. One cup. One cup of one cup cheese, one cup milk, mm -hmm. and this is a half a cup of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And this is also uh, whole milk, you know, that, that I always have in my house. We need some butter, and we need the butter to actually um, sort of, you know, wipe out the pan, you know, with that, you know, the casserole, actually. Butter the casserole. Or butter the casserole. We need some, some pasta. You can use different pasta, but I like, we like pastas that's, you know, that have some shape to them, you know, so they just, just sort of stick together, you know, uh, with things. So this is this would be one choice, the rotinis. Mm -hmm. And it's a pound. It's a pound, yes. It, well, it's a, yeah, it's a pound, mm -hmm. exactly the way, right? Then we make uh, arugula salad with it, mm -hmm. and uh, we just use some uh, balsamic uh, vinegar and some, some olive oil. Yeah. We're gonna and we put some garlic into the, the, the arugula salad, yes. And then we have some parsley for the, for the casserole. We're gonna put a couple of tomatoes in there that we cut up, a couple of three eggs so that we have enough liquid. Yes, right. And you know, somewhere between a, a, a half pound and a pound, of, this is about a pound of ham, maybe a little much. Well, but, uh, we, had but, a big, we had a big dispute before, yeah, you know. Yeah. We were, I said, one of these slices would be enough, but we said, nah, it's not the enough. Thing, I like ham, you said, but the, thing, but, ham. but the thing about it is usually when, you know, when, when if I would cook this, I would probably slice a little piece off and eat it while I'm uh, cooking. So That's what you do. Yeah, exactly. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so anyway, we need, also need some, some, some herbs here that I've talked, you know what I really like is, is rosemary in, with, the, with, the, with the ham. It just tastes great. Rosemary is a great, it's just a wonderful, and I'm not, we're not going to put you know, a whole variety of herbs in there. You know, we just really concentrate on, on the rosemary and a little bit of nutmeg because it just helps it with the cream mm -hmm. and the pepper, salt. So, yeah. yeah, I think that really... That's all. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Let's cook. Let's cook. So th to just get this process going, because it's a quick meal, actually, it doesn't take that long. We just need to cook the pasta first. So I prepared a pot of water with plenty of salt in it uh, and just uh, turn that on. Also, I have to turn on the oven. And so um, I, I'm going to put the oven on... Um, 400? Yes, yes, I'm gonna put it here on, on 400 and get it started. And but no, you said you didn't want to have well, the, the convection, you wanted to have the convection, not the convection. The convection was a 375, yeah. that's what you wanted. Well, that's what, it, that's what you want. said. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's do that, Rube says. <laughs> uh, well, not, not 700. <laughs> <laughs> 700 would be quite hot. So. Um, I, I, I know I, I look right now like I'm using this oven for the first time, but as, as Melissa said before, when you're in front of the camera, sometimes you get carried away with your thoughts. Anyway, so here, start. Okay. And I don't trust this thing. This, this oven has let me down in the last, you know, a few months, and it's doing all kinds of blinky things. Come, come, come real close here. You know, see? In here, the, the display, the display does all kinds of things. See that? It, it blinks, it does all kinds of weird, you know, things. And the oven doesn't really get as hot anymore. And so I use this uh, thermometer to, to check if I actually get the temperature that I, that I dialed in, you know, because this thing has betrayed me. Well, it has, it, it, 
it's it's about it has earned its its uh, its retirement, I guess you know, because it's been running constantly every day no, 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 for no, for the last what fifteen years no, now. No, no, no. Well, this thing yeah. it's no, old. You know, I told old. Them, you betrayed me the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the sledge, the sledgehammer and the baseball bat are already out there. So yes. <laughs> okay, Uwe, you want to cut some ham and I cut some parsley? How's that? No? So, I want to see that the, the ham does, you know, doesn't get too big. So I cut about uh, maybe a, a third of, a, of, a, of an inch or so. Slices first. I have a beautiful steak here. Of course, you can just use any kind of ham that you like. Um, but it should be just a cooked boiled ham. Um, breakfast ham probably wouldn't work as well. I don't know. Uh, well, you know, sometimes even when we didn't when we didn't have much money. Actually, I just wanted to go to the deli and get a thick slice, you know, ham. Mm -hmm. But then I saw that. You know, they saw the salt is served. Steak, you're called the Mohammed steak. I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, well, it looks about right, you know. Maybe a little thick, but it looks about right. Yeah, yeah it's fine, you know. Mm. Well, it tastes good. It tastes wonderful. Mm. Mm. Why not? Sweet. You know, why don't we put it in the casserole? It's already good. Mm. Okay. I put my glasses on because I don't want to cut myself. <laughs> I just, just cut the parsley. Do we need a whole bunch? I think I just cut it. Mm -hmm. no. The nice thing is, you know, you, you want to use these. Um, there can never be enough parsley, don't you think, Uwe? No. Parsley, tomatoes, and garlic. And those, those kind of things you can never have too much of. It's just a wonderful thing. You know? Okay, this is, this is almost, I can do a little bit of the garlic, right? Uh, how much garlic do you need? Oh, we need about three cloves, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or let's say, you know, it's usually a clove, a clove per person. Mm -hmm. you know? So with four people eating, but it's actually food for 12, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 12 cloves of garlic. <laughs> These are quite big. So three of them are going to be enough. When we had a restaurant, my father, he said, you know, this is how you cut parsley. You hold your knife, you know, like that. And, you know, and I was so happy. I thought so much like I was a real chef that I, you know, I was chopping away and chopping away. And then my father got so mad because I took this entire bushel of, bush of uh, of right. parsley and I just turned it into mush. <laughs> and he said, no, I can't use it anymore for what I needed it. But I was so happy because it looked so professional and it's so big. Yeah, here you go. Now after we, we sampled the ham, it doesn't look like it's too much. You actually no, think you're, you're right, yes, don't worry. No, I, I, I'm not worrying, you know, really. I mean, mm -hmm. the worries. There's never too much ham. More of what Only you three little cloves? That's enough. Really? Yes. I, I need some, actually, I need also need some for the, for the salad. That's for the salad, right? Ah, oh, no, for the salad, I don't need that much. I, I, need, <laughs> two for, I need two for the salad. And two for the salad and two for the, for the dish. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't want to go. Two for the salad, two for the dish. <laughs> three to get ready. Now go, clove, go. Once you step on my garlic clove. Do anything, but don't step on my garlic. Alrighty. Okay, that's all. Almost everything that almost all we have to do. I cut tomatoes just before we put them in the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. What? You know, it's like I, I always want to. Oh, I love this knife. <laughs> and you know, it's like people who get sponsored for their shows. You know, <laughs> they, they, they yeah. for their shows. All of a sudden, they say this cup. You know, I love this. This is my favorite cup. Actually, this is my favorite cup. But <laughs> this knife changed my cooking style. Anyway, but we're not sponsored. We actually have no sponsors. Mm -hmm. Except you, you know, you who help us to survive here. 
by uh, anyway helping us in your way. So we can cook. We can play something. The I water's think. not cooking yet, so we cannot do anything. I know. We're pretty much done. What do you want? What do you want to play with? Guitar today. Not bad. <laughs> no, it was quite embarrassing last night. I mean, <laughs> people, people commented on the banjo playing. I know. Actually, somebody wrote me an email and said, I should not play every banjo again. I should have. Yeah. Uwe, have, Uwe has missed his career. I know. It gives me, it gives me nightmares sometimes. Yeah, last, last week, last week I, I, I dreamt that I was at a show and I forgot my fingertips. Yeah. Stepped on them. <laughs> you, could have, you could have become the banjo player. I have never been. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am the banjo player you can never work. <laughs> Alright, the water is boiling. Uwe is playing. We put the put the noodles in. <clears throat> I think they're gonna take about ten minutes. Never quite seem to make it in 
inside of his head. He looks out the window and he lets his dream fly. Watches the clouds go by. The second verse was, you remember Deb, the waitress over the heroin? Yeah. And then the third verse is you. <laughs> in fourth grade or third grade or second grade, you know. Uh, and then the, the last verse is our grandpa. You know? I think about him a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, he, he, he was born in 1895. 18, 18. 1895. And uh, went through, you know. Yeah. He said when he was 90, 98 years old, so he said, the weirdest thing about getting old is that everything you know is gone. Everything you once knew is gone, and you're living like a alien on another planet in another civilization. <laughs> what I thought was funny is when he called the 85 year olds the young ones. Yeah, yeah the, young, the, young, the young kids. <laughs> yeah, the kids. <laughs> yes. I think the noodles have about what, a minute left or two? Well, two, three minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think, and then they're fine. Yeah. No? Do we have anything for dinner? Almost? I think so. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we we, we can make the, the, the sauce, but uh, yeah, I think we can. Yeah, let's mix the let's mix all the ingredients. Yeah. For the let's sauce. mix all the ingredients. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be a kitchen aid. Oh, not too much in the dinner. Just hold it. Somebody commented on my way of always re-grabbing the, the pepper mill like this. And somebody said, no, you should just go like this. And I shake, shake it back. Just, so I'm practicing like crazy. Is there enough pepper in there? Oh, there's plenty of pepper. Okay, good. Uh, A little bit of nutmeg? Yes. 
Now to make it, to make it, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. And uh, rose here with the rosemary, what I do with the rosemary actually, um, I have oh. this little device here. This looks like a brand new technology. It's, it's my invention. <laughs> ah, you got a patent it. Patent it. Patent it. Patent it. It's a mocha heater. You can buy rose, rosemary powder, but the thing is with the powder, it usually doesn't have that much taste, and you get them like that, and you just sort of grind it up a little bit. It just has more, more flavor. Of course, fresh would be the best. You know, but I just don't have anything fresh right now. My mistake. Which? Uh -huh. All right, and you want a, a clove of garlic in there as well, Ian? Yes, it is. That's optional, by the way. It's not a, it's not a loose. Well, we're going to put two cloves of garlic in there. And we're going to... The noodles are done. They're beautifully overcooked. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, they can be. For this recipe, they can be a little bit overcooked because we can dry them up again in the... Uh, in the, uh, in the oven. Right. And you're gonna cool down a little bit, the cold water? Yes, actually, so I'm gonna do, you know, a uh, sacrilege. Swiss style. Yeah. Uh, Italian style with quarter medium. Yeah, but this is not an Italian recipe. No, but I know Italians, they believe that the past, they own every pasta dish in the world. They actually do. No, they don't. Actually, the Chinese actually do. I know, but the Italians, they, they just think they <laughs> But they're dangerous. I know. They got them up. Yeah. Are we The ham is ready for being mixed. So, here the noodles are ready. They're good. Doesn't look like much, but. I'm gonna add the ham to it. Uh -huh. The parsley, some parsley, a little bit, a little bit of parsley. Oh, wait, I forgot to cut the tomatoes. <sighs> Let's mix it. But I got these, I got these tomatoes here. I'm just gonna sort of like water them. I'm gonna make a big deal because I don't want to cook too cooked. Wait, it's a lot of ham. And now the, the, the garlic. No, I already put garlic in there. So ah, okay, that's, that's the garlic. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, let's, let's put the. Let's, uh, I think so. Yeah. I think you know. Uh, put, put the tomatoes in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now we can put this in the in the form. We. Oui. Let me. Let me butter this. Yes, we butter that. Easiest way. Right? Yes, perfect. You can do that. So much better than I thought you would. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, perfect. Mm? Perfect, yes. Now, we can put the noodles in here. Yes. It in, in here, but it's just a little too small and crowded, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Very full. Now, pour this over here. This is a nice. I wanted to mix. You wanted to pour, so it's oh, yeah. okay. I'd rather pour. It gives a little more unevenness. You know, if this is too even, it's not nice. So you don't want. The sauce everywhere. The sauce is going to go down. 
Yeah, but not here on the side. Hold on. Is it? Yeah, don't worry. I don't worry. You do. <laughs> Jens! <laughs> Flatten this out. A little bit of cheese on top? Yeah, I don't like, I'm eating things over, you know me, I'm, I'm like, it's like OCD kind of thing. Doesn't have enough liquid? Yeah. Think so? We'll find out. Okay. Want me to put it in the oven? Yeah. Let's see the temperature of the oven. Mm -hmm. It was beeping before, you see it says 375, and now, moment of truth. It's 360. New oven, you. <laughs> so I, to, I go to 400. So Gar garlic for the salad. So you know, my father-in-law took care of our chickens and dogs while we were gone last week. And he told me Sunday night, he said, I'll tell you this. He said, I would kill that black rooster. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you how he would prepare it? No, he just said he'd kill it. He said it would be done once. <laughs> I think it tried to attack him. He was if he, he was dumb enough to open the coop door. If, if he kills it, we, we fix it. Okay, that's a deal. Jody's offered to shoot it for me. <laughs> Salad, sauce, just a little garlic, olive oil, red balsamic. Yeah. I sort of always, you know, I mean, this is not... Like when, you, when you're in Italy, You'd hardly ever get, you know, a fixed sauce. You just have this standing on the table yeah. with salt, and then you just do it yourself. You know, you get the salad, and you just put something in there. And it, you know, and it's an adventurous mixture. Sometimes it's a little bit more like that. Sometimes a little bit more like that. And I think it's perfectly fine. You know, it doesn't always need to be the same. See, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really work as well as I thought it would. You don't look like a chicken flapping your wings see, when you... What, what I try to do is just turn the bottom. It's much easier. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, that's hard. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm right so you go like this? Well, no, you... no, we have enough pepper in there now. <laughs> now you got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's plenty of pepper. Think so? Yeah. No, okay. You want to mix it right before we eat it, right? No, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll not be... Fine. Mix it. I don't have a. I don't have it. Okay. Yeah. No. No, I don't think my hand. No. Thank you. Okay. We got time. Actually, we do. Yeah. We have plenty of time. We right. could take multiple takes of this next one if we actually would make a mistake. It all depends on you. Now, yes, now is your chance. We never make mistakes, <laughs> right, Melissa? Never. Never. And so we want to, no, we want to take this opportunity to thank you for helping us, uh, for supporting us, sending us a little bit of a donation if you have that. And if you don't, it's fine. Let us know how, you, how these menus turn out for you, you know, and if you maybe cook something or play something like we play maybe at one of the shows or, or so. We're just happy to hear from you, uh, very much so. We also want to take this opportunity, this little opportunity here, um, talking so officially um, of greeting, you know, some of our friends like uh, Greg and Janet Deering who watch every show, who make this wonderful banjo for me. And this is actually sponsored, and, but I don't feel like sponsor. I really feel like they've been my friends for, for, for all these many years and helping us so much, you know, uh, with what we do and, and uh, what, what we, you know, what we're trying to achieve. Um, Olodi, you know, who does all our graphic design, did all our graphic design for the albums, you know, yeah, all these yeah. years in yeah. Germany. They, all, they watch for our show, or Massimo, our friend in Italy, you know. But you know, we had so many people up in Maine now, when we went like last week, who came up to us and, and said how much they enjoyed the cook show. About Uwe, we had somebody sitting in the audience wearing an apron. apron yes. And he said he wore it the right way around, not like me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful people yeah. everywhere. And it's just... It was so wonderful to go out and actually get to meet some of you folks that we have never seen before. And they just know us through, through, the, through, through this, our live streams and we just saw them. We, we, we recorded over 150 live streams now. Uh, this is uh, cook show number 34 and we, mm -hmm. we recorded 120 of our live uh, music streams. So that's like 154. 
It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. It's more or less good, but it's it, get, it gets harder and harder <laughs> to come up with something new <laughs> to sing and play, you know. Yeah, yeah, but but we we having a lot of fun, you know. I think this, this is really right now, I, all I have in my head is this taste of garlic and vinegar. Just, just <laughs> it's like Melissa it. said, it's, it's an anti-vampire show. Yeah, well, all this, you know, <laughs> but we have good friends everywhere, really. And this and one is of course Joe Mack in, over in England, and uh, he, he plays banjo. He's a fine banjo player. He used to, you know been, been around many many years. Plays tenor and five string, and uh, he likes this little tune like a spark. Mm -hmm. And then also because of England, you know Georgina Rossetti. Oh yeah, my, one of my favorite poems that we put to music. I mean, yes. a bunch of other people did it before that, but it was we did this before the internet really, and so. I had no idea that these other versions were around, you know. So let's do it. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What was that? I don't know. It's yeah. Baker Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not mm -hmm. fair. Here goes that mistake, that one mistake I usually make. But so now I don't make any more, so it's fine. Thank you. 
the nice little piece is. That's a lot of stuff. It's, a, yeah. it's a complicated. I, well, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast. I had no dinner last night because you know I knew this was coming. That's why you want to put so much bake, uh, so much ham in the dish. It's never too much ham. Yeah, okay. I don't ever eat ham, you know. No, we don't buy it. Actually. No, I don't. Never ever. No, but I, you know, but, but this this, this dish needs it. it. This actually. dish really needs it. It's, and you gotta love this dish actually. Man, you really do. Oh yeah. And, and Melissa's gonna go again. You're like. Mm. Yes. It's different. It's different. <laughs> She's you know, <laughs> in a mall. Can't curb her in enthusiasm. <laughs> I guarantee you this will become one of your new favorite dishes. You guarantee that? Absolutely. Ah, you absolutely. have to try it. Yeah, I know. That's That's absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Here we go. I think it's done. Uh, it looks good. You see, uh, it's a little brown on top. Uh, it looks, it looks perfect. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't touch this thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have some Put a little bit of on the end of the Parsley on top. Parsley. Never too much parsley. So I think it looks good, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> I think it looks good. Here a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the it's like a test, you know. And, and you're ready. That's right. You don't always worry too much about. Mm -hmm. It's all you do, and it always turns out good. Mm. It's hot. It is. You like it? I do like I really, that. You actually do like it? I do. And, um, <laughs> you succeeded. Wow, you succeeded. You're lucky. Yeah, yeah we're, we're so lucky. Mm -hmm. mm, well, we're lucky anyway that we have you, yeah, Melissa. Yeah, really sweet. How do we say it's good, sir? And good to meet the Don. Don't even want to say that. Mm. Oh, one of my favorite dishes ever. Well, we've done it again. Yeah. Number 34? Number 34. And I think this is a fine dish. Well, I'm really looking forward to eating some of this. Isn't yeah, that fine? And actually, Melissa liked it. Oh, yeah. And that's always a good thing. That's a good sign. And I'm absolutely positive you will like it too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. We'll see, we'll see you next week again. Yeah. You all take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.